Okay guys, so we just joined the back empire and we we're gonna fight for them for a while. Try and get some of this their territory back. Maybe I can siege out a castle. We'll see. Nothing better there. He has three refugees to sell me. Yeah, they're the best units around. Okay, let's see if there's any city lightly defended. 300. Let's see, Maraska, nope. Avoid Dread Legion. 350. I'm long woman. This is gonna be tricky. Maybe we could take on one of these castles, but I'll lose a lot of men. I'm trying to avoid that. Hey, Raid, what's up? Where the fuck are you running off to? Come on, your stupid strategies did nothing.
Well, we'll see you now. Am I rusty or am I be gonna be able to take them out? Let's see. Looks like they're coming straight at me. Plan is to get all the back empire uh, territory back somehow. There are a few castles that are around 300 units in them. That's still too much to attack. I'm gonna lose a lot of men. Hold your fire. Did you try out piercing damage on the runic uh, axes and swords? What, you wipe everything out? Yo, those Nolder Rangers are gonna kill everything. And I went to the wiki and saw that uh, you get uh, the uh, runic uh, plate or mist What's it called? Mystic plate armor. Once you beat 10 uh, Nolder tournaments. And the thing is, you can turn them into like uh, ruby plate armor, sapphire plate armor, or uh, emerald uh, plate armor. In Al Aziz. Aziz, whatever it's called. So I might do that, but I need a polish them for that. I yeah, put pikemen if you're fighting any faction with a lot of cavalry. I don't need any of this shit. That's the ruby one, I think. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get the the lighter one, which is the green one. Because you need to move fast when you're on a siege. In a siege, I mean. It's gonna take a long while for me to fight 10 all the tournaments and win them all. Come on, catch him. Come on, come on. Come on.
Well, I mean, it takes a long time for the bun to pass if you're not just sitting there waiting for it to pass. I mean, the, the ruby weapons and armor are like end game, but the sooner you get them, the better. <laughs> well, yeah, the ex everything is expensive as shit, mercenaries. I mean, you can't have a normal army of normal troops without the noble ones, but it still costs a fucking lot. I think the noble pilot rank. Uh, Noble or champions, the, one, the ones on the horses cost too much for what they do. I think you're better off just having uh, hunters or something like that. The no Lord Twilight Knight, right? That's what they're called. Yeah, but they're expensive as shit. I mean, they don't die if you don't send them into battle that much. But if they get caught in the middle of Jatu, they're fucking, they go down so easily. Maybe they changed it in a patch, I didn't use them since like uh, 3.7 I want to say. Something like that. Running away from Nolor, are you? Nope. I should try them again sometime. Oh, they're charging in. Yeah, the Nolor horses are OP. I think this one has 70 armor and 50, sp 50 speed. Or is that the black one? Can't remember. Come on, come on. Now, since I wanna take back some land, I should probably imprison them, maybe. Would make more sense. But uh, every time you reject a ransom, you lose honor. So st that's kinda sucky. I need to let them go then. I 
I have to take these castles back immediately. I have no fucking idea. I never got the Red Brotherhood quests or what you can do with them, I mean. I need to see in the wiki. Because they are kind of informants and whatnot. You can question and like get the information about the uh, locations with the uh, ruby where they can spawn a ruby gem. So they're pretty much important. No, no, the, uh, that's when you... No, no, when you ask the travelers, like Eric or and all the others, there's a chance they might tell you of a hideout somewhere near something. Doesn't have to be Torbach, any city at all. And when you pay them for that information, when you go around that place, that lo uh, treasure location will show up. It's not a one-time thing, it happens occasionally. Normally they'll give you the, you know, Wallenberry and the Raymond or Rane chest location. But sometimes they can give you the location of that treasure hideout. Doesn't mean it's always near Torbach. I had it spawn in Fields of Wayne sometimes. That's only when it, they tell you. Otherwise you can't find it. Well, let's see. Let's check the wiki. No, uh, Red Brotherhood. Coins, spawns, slave trader of Pandor. Agents selling special, selling mercenaries. Dead. I don't see any. Agents may propose proposes to buy prisoners but they have uh, often another option paying them 10 dinars will ask them for rumors possibly outcome possible outcomes are them selling the map of the red brotherhood hideout hideout that's that's where you can find the chest with the quality gem Looks like looks like OBS is fucking up again. I need to restart it, or maybe it's because I opened up Chrome. Who knows? But basically, they can give you sometimes the option. And wine, you should have always have wine because the crazy hermit needs it for everything. <laughs> <laughs> 